Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. Well, in this bear market, I thought it was important that we really just dive deep into it. I know it's a festering wound that probably hurts for a lot of people, but I'm going to keep on pushing because I think this is such a good time to reflect so that when the good times happen, you know, say the, the bull market runs, that you're going to remember this and you're going to say, oh, I really need to keep this in mind. Because cryptocurrency is, in my opinion as well, the largest financial scam, probably probably the largest in history. Now, you may say the dollar is, and that may, that may be more true. But I thought this video was really good because it really makes you think. History's largest financial scam, cryptocurrency. So I'm going to play a little bit, it, and then uh, we'll talk about it. Okay, today I want to talk about the greatest financial scam in human history, which is cryptocurrency. The reality of what cryptocurrency has become is honestly sickening. Crypto is now a global atrocity that is being promoted in various different forms by everyone from Hollywood celebrities to multi-billion dollar companies during the Super Bowl. Adaptations of cryptocurrency are being advertised as the solution to worldwide poverty or the next phase of global banking. But the broader cryptocurrency space has become a horrifying example of wealth redistribution in a way that radically contradicts current public perception. Cryptocurrency is a wealth redistribution mechanism that takes from the poor and gives to the rich. There are obviously exceptions here. That claim is not, strictly speaking, universally true, but the exception proves the rule. And today I would like to make the claim that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many thousands of other crypto projects are a mechanism that has done far more harm than good and extracted trillions of dollars from average citizens around the globe. Alongside this kind of standard FOMO generation tactic, there is something far more sinister. Layered inside the gushing praise of all things crypto is a central idea. Crypto can alleviate global poverty. This idea is replicated all over now, often emulated by some of the richest and most influential people alive, but this idea is a lie. Decentralization is a selling point of the technology, yet companies centralize tokens every single day and execute the exact same financial manipulation as traditional markets. Is there a difference? Yes, but that difference is accountability and tax avoidance. Cryptocurrency takes all the worst things about modern finance and just reinforces them, while somehow tricking the population into thinking it is the opposite of reality. Trillions of dollars have been lost or relocated through crypto so far in a direction that completely contradicts the public image of the industry, and yet people don't seem to know or care. In a 2017 study, over half of the transactions attributed to Bitcoin's meteoric rise came from one single entity on one single exchange. Researchers openly stated that these transactions were so far outside the realm of regular trading patterns, it was inconceivable that there was any other explanation except market manipulation. These transactions were made with a stable coin called Tether. And Tether, yeah, Tether has been outed as a less than reputable and anything but stable company. This is a black box in the crypto world where one company is choosing how and when to print an unlimited amount of tokens, which are then being used to blatantly manipulate the market. Finally, it has begun to gain attention, but Tether is effectively the central bank of cryptocurrency. You know, the financial tech that is supposed to revolutionize the industry by avoiding the concept of centralized banking? Yeah, that one. Over 70% of all Bitcoin transactions utilize Tether, but Tether can't actually back up its currency in a pinch, and it quite literally says in their terms of service that they have no obligation whatsoever to redeem any of their Tether tokens for cash. Basically, there are now $78 billion of unbacked currency serving as a centralized bank for crypto through one company, as the technology facilitates all of the worst financial behavior that was already a problem before all this occurred, and exacerbates income inequality in particular to an extreme beyond anything else on planet Earth. Cryptocurrency is a funnel, and ultimately there can never be a positive result from the current market reality. Cryptocurrency is the greatest financial scam in human history. For the vast majority of all those involved, it's a terrible thing to be wrapped up in and should not be engaged with. All right. So hopefully that made you think about what you're holding and the fact that if you own a currency that if every person, every person in the world could own one of them and there would still be some left over. And hardly anybody knows about these cryptocurrencies. That means there is a heck of a lot of tokens out there. And so, who has them? Who owns them? And uh, are they using it to manipulate the price and 
to uh, basically extract money from everyone. And if somehow we decided that the vote was going to go to whoever had the most tokens, which is how a lot of the voting happens here, uh, do you realize that you don't have a vote? <laughs> Not really. You know, crypto started out for a lot of people as this way to get away from the banks. That how few people actually believe that's the case anymore. And the more we, we dive into this, the more we realize the banks were there right from the beginning. So I don't play this video for you to say, oh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want anything to do with crypto. Although that may be a smart choice for a lot of you. Uh, I play it because this is the time to reflect and to really understand what you're into so that you can make better decisions when we do hit the bull run. So I hope that's helpful. I definitely would love to hear from you. Uh, join the Discord link in the description. Come talk about it. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Love y'all.